pirates. Command the crew, rule the seas. Chapter 3, Redemption. After the grueling Black Sea battle, Cutlass, Dreadeye, and Bluebeard set their sights on the mysterious treasure island, which contained the Lord Pirate's final resting place. Treasure Island! The isle containing the Lord Pirate's tomb. Seems promising. Scabby Bounty and I will go ashore. Carbuncles, keep things under control out here. Hi, right, Captain. I hope you know what you're doing, Bluebeard. I do too. Shut up, merchant! We need to be rational here! We're sending two men over, no more, no less! I was shifty! I just don't see why we can't send ten! Because! The privateers and the skeletons will be waiting on their ships! Anyone who lets their guard down will be dead! Listen to the captain, you scurvy dogs! He gets the last say, not you! Appreciated, Nautilus. Now, we're sending Meritor and Monroe, got it? The rest stay! Ugh. I've had it with these humans! Sea Demon, Bilge Treader! Aye, sir! Get ashore and make sure those pesky privateers and those marauders get what they deserve! It will be done, Captain! Whoa! Oh, come on! Those golden daggers are really hard to come by! So where's the tomb? It wouldn't be obvious. So I say follow that path. Bounty, you stand guard. What are the odds? <laughs> where's the lost treasure? <clears throat> Better pick that up. That's there for a reason. It's a curious spyglass. Two skeletons are incoming. We better get off the island before it becomes too popular. Agreed. Give up while you still can. I'm not surrendering to you, freaks. Freak, he's mine. Ah. We better stay quiet. Get to the tomb. Let's get out of here! There's no treasure in this tomb! What about that spyglass? I guess it's better than nothing. There's just something about this. There's nothing here! Let's see what you brought me, Mariner. It reads, Lord Pirate, to he whom holds this piece of parchment, Greetings. I am dead, but my spirit is forever prowling, my eyes locked on he who seeks to profit from my bounty. Be forewarned, finding it shan't be easy. My ghostly rascals, riding the elusive Dreadeyes Phantom, possess an expository letter of mark, and will faithfully hinder your quest. CAUTION! Those with determination of steel and eyes beyond their heads, shall retrieve clues to everlasting bliss. Your witness, Lord Pirate. Letter of mark. On the Phantom, we need to find it. Captain! What is it, Dubloon? The Phantom! It's in the distance! Now don't make any rash decisions. Prepare for battle! Sir, you can't seriously- Oh yeah? Do I look like I'm joking, Carbuncles? This isn't a good idea. You know it isn't a good idea, Scabby? Me sitting back and watching my arch-rival sail right by with the letter of Mark. We've made it this far. I'm not turning down the opportunity of a lifetime. The Admiral's right. We need to seize the opportune moment, and this is it. Faster, you maggots! We're falling behind! Tighten the mast! Every single person aboard this ship storms the Phantom until we find that letter of Mark! Hookswell, spin us toward their bow! 
I see I can't make you see reason. There is absolutely no way we can come out of there unharmed. People die in wars, it's how it works. But what if that person who dies happens to be an important figurehead like you, Carbuncles, Perel, or even myself? I'm willing to take that risk, Scabby. Why don't you go and ask every single being aboard this vessel if they are? I can guarantee you they're ready to die. Ask yourself, are you? You've totally lost it. Have I? Have I? I'm the one member of my old crew to not turn into a freak who doesn't eat, drink, or sleep. Dread Eye used to be my best friend, but he changed that when he locked me in the brig. I'm going to see he gets what's coming to him. I have a score to settle, so if you're not ready for this, the robot's waiting. He's actually going to attack us. This is fantastic. Get ready, guys. Be ready, the privateers are incoming. What do you think he wants? Well, if this isn't about our little disagreement, then I think he's after the letter of Mark. Oh. I don't get it. We followed it to the lighthouse, and we couldn't read the text on the wall. So why don't we just let them have it? If we can't translate the text, I bet they can't. Idiot. The privateers have Theodore Two-Sails, the infamous translator. What makes you think he won't be able to decipher it? We mustn't allow anyone to have it. The cannons are ready, sir. Good. Get ready to have some fun, boys. But remember, Bluebeard is mine. Understood. Fine. Have it your way. Fire! Hello, old friend. You're going to pay for every life you took. Maybe when I find the treasure, I'll have enough currency to do that. Just keep climbing. Maybe then you'll lose me. Johansson, the Avengers gone. Did you see any boats? Yeah, there are two over by the port. Start ordering everyone into them. We're vastly outnumbered. Seriously? You actually thought this was going to help you? <laughs> Maybe it won't help me. But it will help my crew. Your crew is doomed. There is no escape for them, nor for you, Admiral. The letter of Mark. I have it. I have the letter of Mark. Excellent. Get in quickly, Cabot. Where's Bluebeard? Up there. Uh. It ends now. No! Uh, get in, Johansson. We have to go. Ha! Huh. Stop the privateers immediately. No! Now they'll be going to the lighthouse! Shovel Tooth, scrape depth. We need to make a special visit. You don't mean. Yes, I do. At least we have two boats and a piece of wood left over from the Avenger, and the letter of Mark. But what now? We have the letter of Mark, but we have no captain. Well, Carruthers, I know you're one of the three new guys, but normally, we make the first mate the captain. In this case, we have two first mates. Carl Carbuncles and Provost Perel. How do we decide? Isn't it obvious, Dib? We vote. Voting on a captain. Now this is something I've never experienced before. Whatever. It beats not having a captain. All in favor of Perel, raise your hand. Hmm. All in favor of Carbuncles. So be it. Oh. I did want to be captain one day. I didn't want it to be under these circumstances. Captain! It's your destiny, just go with it. 
I see even after such a traumatizing event, you still manage to keep your poor philosophies, Dawson. I don't see you coming up with anything better.